Justice reigns from a bro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the, these these impressions are just terrible at the start of these videos. Anyway, welcome to my Farrah guide. Now, what the hell is she? Well, she's a, a rocket fueled Egyptian killer. That, that is that is what she is. She is beautiful. She is an awesome damage dealing class in the game. However, she has some massively, massively hard counters you need to watch out for. Widowmaker and Soldier 76. They can shut you down like you would not believe. Anyway, let's get into this because this is my guide video on how to play her. Let's just go over abilities first. And the main thing you can see me doing right now is I'm jumping up in the air using the jump jets. This is left shift. And that's what I've got it bound to. That's what you'll have it bound to when you pick up the game. Unless you're playing on console, it'll be a different button. This fires you into the air really high, really rapidly and gets that verticality of the character off which is a very fancy way of saying you go straight up in the air and then you can fire your rockets down because you've got to think the way Farah operates is you need to fire the rockets into the ground to make them detonate it's extremely difficult to land direct rocket hits to fire a rocket as i just did then and hit somebody with it is very difficult watch this so symmetrical's there you see how i'm firing it into the ground there's may there's mccree giving it high noon we're not having that we're going to fire into the ground then we're going to give them the ultimate and Justice rains from above. Absolutely beautiful. That's Barrage. Now, what that does is that fires a shed load of rockets out. I think it fires 30 rockets, and they do around 40 to 60 damage per hit. So it's a lot of damage. When you are casting the ultimate, though, you are very vulnerable. You cannot move um, anywhere, but you, obviously you can move around uh, your looking position because that's where you'll fire. But you can't move the character. You'll be stationary, and most likely you'll get killed if you do it in a dodgy position. So going back to her movement options... You've got the left shift, which fires you up in the air, which is uh, jump jets. But then you've got hover jets, which is space. And that's McCree and he rinsed us. So let me just talk a little bit about movement. I'm going to use the concussion blast here. Watch this. Spin, concussion blast, knocks me forward in conjunction with left shift to fire me up in the air. And then I was feathering the hover jets, which is space bar. So when you're using space bar, you'll notice in the middle of the screen, there's a fuel meter. You can see it going down. That's because I'm using space bar to keep myself in the air after I've used the um, jump jets. And what you want to do with Farah is you want to be in the air as much as possible like this, firing your rockets down into the ground. You don't want to be out in the open, walking around on the ground, because that's not where your main strength is. Your main strength is being up in the air and raining rockets down. These rockets, they do 120 damage per hit. They are insane. That there, what I just fired at him, was concussion blast. Now, that knocks targets away, and what I tried to do is knock him over the edge, but I think he reflected that, actually, so it didn't affect him. Now, this is pretty good, right? Watch him. He's doing reflect. This is Genji. Notice where I'm firing the rockets. I'm firing them into the ground because Genji is going to deflect projectiles back at you. And it's a very good tip for dealing with Genji anyway is if you've got something like McCree's flashbang, chuck it into the ground. Don't throw it at him. Same with Farrah's rockets. Fire them into the ground, not at him because he can reflect them back. Widowmaker almost killed me there. Now, this is extremely good play for me because she tries to kill me. She doesn't quite get me. That is a peach of a shot. That is extremely difficult to hit. The only reason I hit that is because I gambled on the fact she was going to go for the health because she was solo anyway, and she did, and I managed to get the hit. So you can see what I'm doing, using the verticality. I'm jumping up into the air. I'm raining rockets down onto people. I'm trying to guess where they're going to, uh, like, predict where they're going. Again, this is another duel here with a enemy Farah. I'm predicting where she's going to go. Look at that. A hit and a hit, and she's gone. It is hard to do this, but once you get the hang of it, Farah is very powerful. You do need to be aware, though, of your counters, because as I say, Widowmaker is a hard counter. Widowmaker should have killed me earlier on, but she didn't. I reacted and I dealt with it. Soldier 76 can also count you very, very easily as well, which you will see at the end of this little section. So let's just talk about Concussion Blast, because I use Concussion Blast quite a lot to knock people away, to disrupt the enemy. But also, you can use this to get yourself around the map, as you see me when we on the point on Ilios, where I went out and fired it into the ground. You can actually use it as you're flying up in the air. So I could use it right now. I could fire myself up into the air and do all kinds of stuff. I highly recommend if you want to learn how to use Farah properly, because I'm not saying I'm a pro at Farah. I'm okay. That was an interesting ultimate there, Farah. <laughs> I'm okay with Farah. Farah's movement, though, there are people on a completely different planet, and they, they are awesome. The way they use the concussion blast to get around the map, it's just superb to watch. So... Uh, Seagull is a guy you should check out. Also, one, uh, one amongst many as well. Check his YouTube channel out. He's very good with Farah, with the movement moving around. So, Soldier just use his ulti. Yeah, I'm dead. Now, Soldier can make a mess of you anyway. Without his ulti, it's bad news. What I'm going to do in this section here is I'm going to use my Concussive Blast on Lucio. Get ready. There it is. Knocked him off the map. That's a very nice way of using that blast. Also on maps like Lijiang Tower on the bridge, you can use the concussion blast and knock loads of people off. There's loads of clips around on the internet of entire teams being knocked off. Or any map where there's uh, 
potential for you to knock people off. You can use Concussion Blast for that. It's very versatile. You can move it. You can use it to move yourself around and take the enemy out. And it doesn't do any damage to you. It's much like um, Junkrat's Concussion Bomb mine thing. What does do damage to you, though, is your rocket. If you fire your rocket and it explodes near you, it's going to damage you. So you've got to be careful. What I'm doing here is using the map to my advantage. I'm jumping up, I'm firing rockets down, I'm keeping the pressure on them, and I'm trying to predict where they're going. Because Farah, she does a lot of damage. If you're constantly hitting the rockets, you're doing a lot of damage to people. But you do need to be aware. If the enemy team wants to counter you, and they counter you very effectively, again, this goes with any hero, you need to consider swapping that hero and play a different one. Because if a Widowmaker turned up on the other team and just made it their mission to kill me, they could make a mess of me. And so I'd need to change. You just see me fire the Concussion Blast down into Hanzo there. The reason why I did that is to try and mess him up a little bit. To sort of screw his aim. Maybe I should have just fired a rocket at him. It probably would have been a better option. I think, like, in terms of my play and where I need to get better, I need to get better at using the Concussion Blast to navigate the map. And also, instead of firing the Concussion Blast at people to mess them up, just fire a rocket. I've used the ultimate there, right? Now, the reason why I've used that is because if you look at us, we're in overtime. I don't want Reinhardt on the point to make it uh, carry on. So I altered him, which I thought was a good use of it because he's got a lot of health. Took him out. I don't know what Junkrat was doing with his ultimate there. We took him out. We take Tracer out. Then we blow Torbjorn away. Farah is really good. You've just got to be aware if they move to counter you, you're going to have to swap your hero. And try and lead your shots in. And try and get into the habit of firing the rockets into the floor. Don't fire them at people as if you're using like a, a hit scan weapon. This is a projectile and it detonates. And you have to hit, make it detonate. It, it only detonates when it hits something. So firing it into the ground is a good idea. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Stylo, so this is Unit Lost. If you like the video, then like the video. Subscribe to the channel for more Overwatch content. Follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming. And as ever, if you've got any tips yourself, add them in the comments below. I'll catch you next time, people. Toodaloo.